prayer for you in 2024 that God will give you increase. Yes. That He would expand and enlarge your territory. Yes. That He would bless you indeed. Like only He can. Lift your hand to say, I receive increase.
started to decided to extend uh, Thank you, Lord. until the first Sunday, 24, but I'm going to approach it from another whole perspective, angle, about having a purposeful life and being very intentional about all that you do. Amen. We eliminate excuses, situations, and take a very intentional approach. That I do what I do, and I'm not sorry because it's what I intended to do. It's purposeful. Because we want that to be in righteousness, but it's purposeful. Yes, Lord. So I'm going to just go back and approach this from another, another angle today for a second part of that. I'm going to read more scriptures than I usually, but the story will help kind of paint the picture for the message I want to bring today. We started on last Sunday, the close out of that year about the purpose-driven life, and we ended up the last verse, Mark 11, verse 21, where Peter brought Jesus' attention when he said, look, Rabbi, the tree which you cursed has withered away. And there are many, there's a lot of commentation on um, the reason why this happened. Uh, of course, Peter addressed it, but his words are not gospel. His words is a reaction to something that occurred. And so he uses the word, you cursed it away. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's what he, Jesus did. That's how he perceived what he did. Perception is everything. And a lot of our lives are on the wrong trail because we misinterpret a situation on, based upon up. our perception. But things are not what they always appear. If you haven't learned that by now, you're in trouble. Amen. Amen. There's more than what meets the eye. And there's always what goes on behind the scene. So Peter addresses Jesus by saying, the tree which you curse is with it. Um, that minute, like a commentation, we, we went in depth in that last Sunday. My perspective on it was something totally different. And, you know, my understanding of the, the, um, the living word of God is that it can interpret and reinterpret itself over and over again. Mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. So what somebody perceived a hundred years ago was how they saw it. So even like Peter's word, all commentation is not gospel. It is a perspective, an interpretation, a commentation upon something that occurred. The living word means that a thousand years from the day, men will read this word and interpret something different than what you and I see today. Come on now. That's, that, that's what makes it alive. It is its relevancy. It is relevant to all times because it speaks to all generation by its ability to interpret, reinterpret itself and speak over and over again. Based upon, that's my philosophy about the Word of God. So that opened the door for me to always see what I see. And what I saw was something totally different. I saw and came to the conclusion that the tree didn't die for no other reason than that Jesus took away his reasons for his reason for existing. Yes. Everything has a reason to exist. It needs a reason. That there's nothing haphazard. There's nothing really coincidental. That the everything, everything has a purpose or a reason. Yes. Everything. And and the tree reason for existing was to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. If you take away its ability to bear fruit, it has no other reason to exist. Yes. It wasn't a tree designed to give shade. Huh. There are some trees that don't bear fruit. Their job is to just provide shade or to provide beauty for the different seasons of life or to provide a nesting egg for the foul creatures of the air. That's its purpose. But in this case, the fig tree purpose is to give fruit. Come on. Come on. He said, no man, eat of you. He snatched from it its purpose. And the tree comes to the conclusion that if I can't bear free feeds, what else am I here to do? So it folds itself over and die. 
There's a powerful message to you that many of us are dying because we have yet to discover our reason for them living, being. And when you find that, that purpose becomes your driving force for life. You know that you, what you're here for. And, and, and the power of this is that God, even if you fulfill purpose, don't know it, whatever the case may be, then God can repurpose your life. Amen. Amen. We use to substantiate that on an economic principle. The principle of highest and best rule means that value means that value is determined by use. So no matter how what you did, what you were here for, if you fulfill that, lost that, tossed that, or whatever the case may be, don't die because God is a God that can take whatever you give Him yes. yourself. He's a salvager. Yes. Salvage whatever the left over, take it, repurpose it. And when he gets through with it, it is more valuable than its original. Man is more valuable now than he was in the garden before he sinned. Because now he has the Holy Spirit living within him. God has taken his life to another level. He's repurposed his being. We use an example of how we were given all of the, the leftovers of, of, of the sow, the pig, the hog. But because there was purpose and we understood the concept of repurpose whether we knew it or not we took what was left over and repurposed it now all of these are delicacies that whites and Koreans are selling back to us for what we have repurposed and now it is more costly than the, the, the good part so to speak children's cost more than the regular part now come on y'all go all over creation looking for children's and who cook the best and pig feeding Pig tail, you can't cook red beans without that. Come on. You can't cook, what is it, black eyed peas or white beans or whatever. Y'all the cooks over there. And if you don't smell that and they cooking, then you know you ain't in the right place. Come on. Amen. Repurpose it. So value is determined by use. Uh, and so we, we, God now is going to use you because of this, this concept of repurposing your life now. My word to you from last Sunday to this Sunday is that because of this repurposing, um, your life now not only will have more meaning, new meaning, but will be more valuable than ever before because of how God will use you today. Can you receive that? Amen. 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 And say thank you. Thank you, Lord. That you're more valuable now than you've ever been. Yes. You really receive that. Yes, Lord. You're more valuable now than you mm -hmm. ever did. Yes, Lord. Creation needs you. Generations need what you have. Yes, sir. And what you're depositing in the earth, generations are going to benefit. Your praise is going up into glory. Yes, Lord. It's going up in eternity. And it's going to come back as clouds of witnesses that would cheer all the generations on. I know that's a little mystical to you, but just flow with me on that. Yes, Lord. You will speak through generations through what you deposit in the earth today. You're more valuable than ever. And some of y'all are here today on your mother's and father's prayer. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, lift your hand and say thank you. I know it's the truth. Thank you, Lord. God can create something out of nothing. Surely he can repurpose you. All I need you to do is have faith in, in God. That's the word. You're here for a divine purpose. I want to talk about this whole purpose-driven life, but I'm going to approach it from another whole perspective today. And I'm going to use this title, Why Is My Life Your Business? I know it's a little hard title, but, and it's not a messy one. Just, just stay with me. I'm not talking about me. I know that's what y'all think. That's going to use the poor pit to set No. I almost thought about changing that because I thought about it. I'm like, I'm not going to let these people deter what's in my spirit. So I had to catch myself. Amen. If that's where your mind is, then God bless you. I pray for an increase. Amen. Enlarge my territory. Yes, Amen. We're still talking about purpose, purpose driven life. I want to use this as a subject. Why is my life your business? Uh -oh. Say that to somebody. It's going to tell them. Let's 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 read it. We, 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 we can kind of we can kind of simmer the atmosphere. 